All right, so this is the Jetbeam SFR26, the smaller brother of the SFR28. This flashlight utilizes a Cree XPL HI emitter, HI standing for high intensity, uh, and puts out an amazing output of 1,200 lumens. So I've always liked the, uh, the basically the HI in a lot of these, uh, a lot of these flashlights, like the XPL HI, the XHP35 HI. Uh, those are the only two I can possibly think of that are uh, the high intensity class. So I've obviously taken this out of the package already, but I repackaged it for you guys to uh, pretend to do a unboxing. All right, so here's the back of it. 1200 lumens, 150 hour runtime, 373 meter distance, 34,000 uh, CD, which means it's such. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good intensity. One meter drop resistance. Basically, standard stuff you'd see on a flashlight. All right, so we'll take it out. This thing comes with a lot of stuff. I might go ahead and tell you. Look, I even put the silica gel back, <laughs> pack back in it. Uh, you got your accessories, spare boot cover, O-ring. Even has a spare uh, little boot cover for the charge port, which is great. Or I'm sorry, the mode switch. Anyways, instruction manual, warranty card, all kinds of other stuff that it comes with. Ooh, certificate of approval. Silica gel. Now the flashlight does come with a battery, so keep that in mind, which is kind of different because usually they, um, well, usually they come with a cell that has the brand name on it, but this one does not actually. This is kind of the same battery that the uh, Jetbeam TH20 comes with, I noticed. USB, lanyard. So this does actually come with a lot more stuff than I'm usually used to seeing these type lights come with. So the tail cap, of course, does feel very solid. So here's the tail cap of the, the newer Jet RRT1. And then the, of course, Jet Beam SFR26 tail cap, pretty much the same. Even has that little foam insert around it. Tail cap definitely feels very solid. Very nice square cut threads, of course. That's signature red O-ring that Jetbeam puts on a lot of their lights. So the light does come with a pocket clip and it spins around here. It's not really that snug on here, to be honest. I took it off because of what happened to my Jet RRT1. As you guys can see, the pocket clip kind of spins around and basically just destroys the head. So that's why I took it off of the RRT1. So on my particular model, the HI emitter is perfectly centered, you can see there. Smooth reflector. AR coated lens. Now the side switch feels very solid also, very solid. The machining is great, of course. Expect nothing less from Jetbeam. They usually have very good machining. The best, I think, is Sunway Man. Sunway Man has some incredible machining. Your integrated charge port, which is great. I'm not exactly sure what the charge rate is, but I imagine it's probably close to an amp. So one question that I have gotten over and over so many times is um, basically the weight and how uh, how heavy one of these uh, or how heavy these lights are. Uh, this light weighs 109 grams without the battery. Length is 142 millimeters. Of course, the diameter of the head is 34. So one thing to remember, a lot of lights are usually IPX8, but this particular light is actually IPX6. So it is waterproof still, but it's only a one meter, I believe. Interface is quite simple. Basically, <laughs> click on, click off. It is a, a forward switch, so it's a tactical forward switch. So click it on, and it will remember your last mode used. You basically just push the side switch here. Now it goes from um, basically level four down to one, then back to four instead of going back up and down like some lights do. So keep clicking it. You have your turbo, high, medium, low, turbo, high, medium, low. And then double press it real quick, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> you have to uh, basically from off hold the switch, or basically yeah, hold it down, 
and it goes into your strobe mode. And if you hold it down again, see, it does nothing. So I think it just has basically turbo, high, medium, low, and then strobe. So we're going to go down to low and press and hold, and it'll go into your strobe mode. I wish some of these lights actually memorized strobe mode. That'd be great, because if you turn it off and then turn it back on, obviously it goes into your last mode used. But you can access turbo pretty quickly. This flashlight does not have SOS. I guess I can see why. A lot of people don't usually use SOS. So a lot of people that are watching these videos, they like to hear the good and the bad, things about lights that they like and things they don't like. And I can't really think of any cons on the Jet Beam, um, the SFR26. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that I don't like about it. Uh, the switch feels solid. Both switches feel solid. The throw is great. The machining is great. The threads are perfect. Um, everything on this light is great. I, the, I like the interface. I like all everything on this light. I can't possibly think of anything I don't like. Okay, so that is the quick review of the Jetbeam SFR26. I think I covered just about anything I could cover.